Okay guys and welcome to State of Decay 2, um, a game I've enjoyed for a very long time. Uh, the first version of the game and this version of the game. They've now changed it around a little bit so you can play it in ultra hard difficulty. That is most definitely my cup of tea. So we're going to start a new community. We're going to skip the tutorial because I will give you a bit of a tutorial as I go along. We're going to play on Drucker County, which in terms of getting around the map is one of the, is the trickier one probably of the three. And it's the one I know the least well. So we're going to go for that one. We are going to play not standard zone, not dread zone. We're going to go for nightmare zone. And then we're going to have a loading screen where we can select or be given a choice of three survivors with which to start our adventure. Now, I'm playing this on the very hardest mode and I have played it through for about a week on another settlement uh, on a different map, which is a bit easier going sort of uh, to traverse. And uh, I can certainly see this is a challenge. I may, we'll see what kind of characters we get offered right up front. I've never finished on this account um a playthrough so i've got no there are perks you could start your game with i have none of them uh now i'm just looking at these characters here now really the cardio wits fighting and shooting they're not incredibly important at the beginning of a game you can train them up reasonably quickly just by doing them what i am concerned about is that two of these guys have got the fifth skill slot is already taken up by driving and acting which may have kind of perks. I'm not quite sure what they are. I think driving means you damage cars more slowly. Acting, I've no idea. Probably morale, morale related. But I don't want them. I want empty slots. But I'm going to take a mechanic. A mechanic is handy. Empty slots, you can find books in the game and train up. So I don't mind keeping Farsight there. Who seems quite a good shot. And an X hall monitor. But we don't want... Come on, we want one guy, surely, just for a little bit of diversity. A base jumper, a former goth, he's never been sick. That might be a good thing, he's got quite high cardio. Um, I'm thinking we're going to just do that. Go. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that could happen is <laughs> I'm recording this via an Elgato and it is a little bit wobbly. So I hope this all goes to plan. I'm recording everything live and we shall see what happens. Now there's permadeath in this game. If I lose a character, they're dead. However, one of the wonderful things I like about this game, in fact, I'll shush now. I'll let you see the intro. And we're empty again. So whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I had to outrun a whole damn horde. I have a better idea. We could settle down here instead of moving on. I admit, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. But now that you mention it, it does feel kind of homey. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible, maybe with some room to expand. So there we are, and here we are, run out of fuel. Now, here I'm controlling this character here. I will get more familiar with the names as we go along. At the moment, we're technically in a mission, so I can't switch to anyone else. Um, in normal play, you can, which can be very handy. I don't want to use the independence pack content because I couldn't afford it. That's a DLC um, that in the easiest mode, you get these drops for free. I'm not going to use them in this playthrough at all. Uh, I don't know how long it would be till I could afford them, but let's see what we got here. We've got a bag of materials, which we're going to need for our base, so we can give a rucksack to our friend Ernesto. We're going to give a rucksack to our friend Whitney, who is rocking. I can see some. Here come some zombies. Whitney rocking her uh, Primark Adidas top. We're going to wander off this way quite quietly, guys. Just. Try not to aggro those guys Board's over coming. there at this stage. Are they coming after us? Come on, let's get in. We're going to fight. Starts you need to go on. Now I will get into explanations of what is going on a little bit later. 
but for now they're a very simple combat combat controls. You do level up, you get more health, you get a bit better at hitting things with hard objects. As you can see here, my blue bar has run out, that's my stamina. I'm going to kill this zombie. Okay, he's down on the floor, I'm going to eat my snack using the right bumper, that'll get my stamina back up. And I am going to apply a bandage because there's still quite a few zombies around here. Luckily, oh crikey, there's a stinky bloater coming in in the background. He would like to explode in a cloud of gas and poison us a little bit, I'm sure. I'm going to try and go and set him off deliberately over here. Come on, run at me, run at me. Here, I'm here. He's not going bang, which is unfortunate. He's running over there. Somebody's going to get a face full of gas. It's not me. There we go. <laughs> the gas will attract zombies to it. If you inhale it, you get quite hit. I'm not going to go in there to finish him off. I don't want it. There you go. I'm just getting here. Oh no, look, the gas got me. I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. We'll survive. Blood plague is the real issue on these maps, and we'll talk about that when it becomes an issue, right? So combat was all basically the X button to swing. You can B to dodge. Y does nothing. A to jump, but that's not really very useful. And you can do little kicks and stuff as you level up, but we'll talk about that later. Right, first of all, we're on the map. We need to get here, which is like the start of home the game is giving us. We've got a vehicle here with no fuel in it. We may find other vehicles on the map, but they're quite few and far between in this map. Vehicles also take huge amounts of damage. You cannot use them like a battering ram, but you can on some of the other modes. The guy over there is a screamer. We're going to go and get him. I can't let that screamer bring a whole stealth party kill over. the guy. We're going to get down. Stay behind him. The zombies have pretty poor perception. If he actually sees us and gets triggered, as his name suggests, the screamer will scream, attracting zombies from all around. We don't really want that. So let's get over here. We can try another stealth kill on this guy. So there's still quite a lot of zombies just up over there. This is Nightmare Zone. Right, so we're just going to toddle off around this way. Is there anything to search here in these vehicles? No. Right, now, rule one of this game is basically look before you leap. Uh, especially when you have no skills. There are skills you can get up later that will uh, put zombies on your mini-map as blips, but we have none of that luxury, so we literally have to be careful. None of your characters are ever going to get superpowers in this game. Uh, they get better about they, you know, fighting and searching and running, etc. But you oh, know, style. these are people. The game very much presents these people as just average Joes that are stuck in this situation, which I quite like. We're searching here. We could press Is left bumper it? and search a lot more quickly. That was scraps of circuitry, which will come in handy for base development. What have we got here? We've killed quite a lot of the zombies around here, so I might try fast searching. Isn't, well, no, that, there was a crowd, wasn't there? They're still out there. No, so if I make a lot of noise, in theory, nothing too bad will happen. Oh, like I'll that. Bad about that when I have time later. What do we got? I'm going to grab it. We'll have a look when we're depositing it. I've not got much room left to pick up any more stuff. In fact, none. I haven't found a fuel can. And I can only got six slots in my backpack and two pockets. So, we'll carry on looking around this house. Even if we have to selectively drop and swap the items we want. A bag of something would be handy. But houses aren't the best places to get those. Now, bags of stuff, the backpacks, they count as materials for base use. Although they can be split down. Oh, we got a gun. Oh, definitely having a gun. We don't want the roll of firecrackers. It's a pretty rubbish gun, but it's our gun. We'll leave the box of seeds. This stuff will stay here on the floor pretty much forever. If I come back this way, it will be left for me to pick up should I want to. I'm just going to see if there's anything really good knocking around. 
Nice. Now we have to be careful. Oh, what's that gardening textbook? We'll come back and get you. We're full up. Let's get to our base. We don't want to jump. We could jump out the window. That will make a loud crashing noise. We don't want to do that. So we're going to crouch. Have a little look. The spawns and respawns can really catch you out in this game. Nighttime can be quite terrifying. It's probably the game that then you are most dependent on the sound that I've ever played. For especially when it comes to some of the really nasty zombies. I don't know how well that's going to record. We shall see. I think a lot of people that record State of Decay avoid the nighttime because uh, it is very dark and there's at times just not much for you to see. But we shall see. We're going to stealth kill this guy. Now we're approaching the house. Which we will then have to clear. Before we go in though, I think, yeah, we can come and search this shed. Anything showing up on my mini map or the main map with a white icon, it means it's searchable. It's worth searching. If it's black, then it's been searched, fully searched. And I'll flash back to the map when I've looked in here. No, no more little slots. Um, you can see some things are already blacked out. That basically means that unlike the other levels, there's just no loot to be had. It's random what is and isn't pre-looted. Um, and from what I've seen of the game startup that I did, you can get a little bit of a variety in how quickly you get along. I mean, I've got a gun quite quickly here and some ammo to go with it in other startups. We've well, got the gun. No room. That's not going to stack. I'm going to take that painkiller. And I think that pipe wrench. Look, the durability is much no better room. than my weapon. So I'm going to swap. So I can drop that one. Equip that one. Durability is obviously how long you're gonna, that weapon's going to last before it breaks. Is this a can of fuel? If it is, I'll come back and get it. And then we can go and get the car once we have set up our base. Yes, I'll leave that there. We know exactly where it is, but we've got the bag of materials to take in with us. In fact, we can sneak in over here. Made Next it. job Gonna will be now. we've got to bash through the gate. That was noisy. Which is okay, because if there's any zombies around here, we want them to wake up and uh, come try and fight us, not be laid on the floor waiting to ambush my ankles. Right. Anyone here? No. Now you can see on the little building map on the mini map those black dots. That means I haven't cleared that area yet. Once all the black dots have gone in a building, then the building is considered cleared. It will get a little circle around it, which uh, in theory, I think it stops zombies spawning in that circle. But no, there's definitely something still here to kill somewhere. Zombies remaining, it's clearly telling me. Can I see any? Oh, here they are. Somebody got a zombie? There we go. Are gone, so it's time for us to claim this right done so yes interact with the claim point that's Sword upstairs time. here and we're gonna claim the home site now as you can see there's no cost for doing this all I need is one person this is the starter site base that appears on each of the three maps a different location obviously but the same layout same setup Need them to improve this we now place. have our uh, right let's have a look quickly at the base we start off with storage which is where I'm stood and that's where you need to deposit the backpacks to we've got the kitchen which will be handy especially to prepare a feast when we've got somebody who can cook if we get somebody who can cook we can also use it to make snacks and other bits and bobs depending on skills and facilities we've got a bedroom that's got four beds that's very good for one slot that's quite a good we've got a pile of rubbish which we can clear we've got a master bedroom which needs repairing so we'll do that so we'll have six beds here once we have uh, fixed that now as you can see we can press y to, to deposit building. those five materials Either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start and I can find one of my colleagues we can grab the backpacks off of them or you could just switch to them now where are you hiding cat multi-story buildings and the mini map 
don't always mix too well. But there you go. Where are you? I wish I could just shout at them. They must... Oh, there's one. There is a backpack, don't worry. Hey there. This will slow me down. Unless he's having a rest. I'm getting there. Let's nice. get this stuff put away. So we'll keep wow. the gun equipped. So we'll put the weapons away. We'll put everything away. We're going to take... Put that bandage away. We're going to take the two bottles of weak painkillers and one snack we're going to keep on us just for now. Five more materials. As you can see, top left, we've got six food, no medicine, no ammo, 13 materials and zero fuel. So materials is the first one we need just to start building the base. Where are you hiding? You're up here. No. So you must be downstairs. Oh, you're on the bed. You've already flaked out, Whitney. Let's get that. We'll leave Whitney to snooze. We'll get this bag of materials put away. And then we can start looking at our base and our community. Right, out of storage. That's fine, because we're going to use it. If you're over your storage limit, it will spoil, I believe, at the end of the day when the day changes over. So we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, here's our community. I am currently Farsight. And there are my stats. We're, also, we're already slightly injured. Minus 13 health for a trauma. Minus 10 for a missing chunk of flesh. Minus 2 damage taken. My morale's a little bit low. Minus 10 because of the zombie population. But that's okay. As you can see here, I'm a citizen. My community standard is very low. When that fills up, I'll become like a full member. My hero bonus will become activated, which in this case is plus three morale for the community. And if I make this person leader, we will be a warlord. What have we got here? I'm not really sure quite what these ones do. It says affect skills, but it's not explaining too well. Decent shot. We'll just assume that's good, shall we? Maybe I learn some of this. Now, as you can see, this has got a star system. It goes up to seven. When you get to seven stars, you can unlock a secondary uh, level of the skill, which gives you a perk. But for now, all we need to worry about is higher is better. So cardio is how you're sprinting and climbing and how much stamina it uses up. And also how much stamina you've got because that will increase with each star. Wits is how quick you can search and how stealthy you are. Uh, fighting is bashing things or slashing things, simple as that. The more you bash and slash, the higher you go. And shooting is exactly the same principle. And uh, yeah, shooting things skills you up. We'll have a little look at Ernesto. No, we won't. Have we finished? Yes, Ernesto next. Taking a little bit of a beating there. One chunk of flesh, bit of damage taken. That should heal reasonably quickly once we've got a medical facility set up. Citizen. His hero bonus is mending. And it's plus five max health. And uh, he'll become a sheriff. Take us down the sheriff route if we make him leader. Oh, now there you go. Never been sick gives him plus 100 infection resistance. We'll remember that because the blood plague infection is very important. And it's very hard to get rid of, especially early game. So him being so resistant is a real boon. And again, same principle. He's got no stars, no stars, no stars. He's got good cardio. He can run quite well. That's fine. And then we've got Whitney. Again, very low skills, but we've got mechanics, which will be handy. She's already taken a bit of a beating. Citizen, she'll be a trader if we made her leader and her hero bonus when we've taken her out and done some stuff. Reduces zombie threat, which is quite handy because she's very good at being quiet. And she's got the mechanics skill. That unlocks some stuff we can do at the workshops, which is quite handy because keeping your weapons going and your vehicles going is one of the key challenges, especially on this map where vehicles are really important and you have to do a lot of driving around the map. And uh, she's going to help us a lot. So these guys, we will find skill books for them. Okay, so let's have a look first of all at our base. Now, as I say, we've repaired the master bedroom. We now have a capacity of six beds. 
and we also get morale bonus from the master bedroom which is quite nice so that's quite good for a little base to have six beds that that's plenty for quite a while i'm sure we can clear this site here what the game wants us to do if we actually just look on the map screen start construction of an infirmary or a workshop so that's a very sensible idea uh, one to maintain us and one to maintain the vehicles and our weapons so they're going to count down they're going to take not very long to build at all less than a minute you can see here our threat level has gone up quite high to serious attack risk because of the noise of the construction um, if you have some big building contract uh, projects going on at the same time that you can just uh, provoke a zombie horde pretty much instantly but we'll just hang out here till they're done so we're getting a warning there food stockpile is low red obviously means we're empty if we look on our base screen it will actually tell us up here so we've got 15 storage for each material each type of material at the moment and uh, we can expand that at the moment we are using minus 4.5 food a day and we have six so the yellow figure is warning us that you know we tomorrow we're in trouble building infirmary complete so our infirmary will allow us to stabilize a blood plague victim if somebody gets full blown blood plague uh, with other additions here you see we need um, materials here medicine and screws we have neither here we need water and medicine we have neither so we can't actually make anything with that <laughs> facility at the moment but it, what it is actually doing is giving us uh, a passive kind of healing boost workshop is the same situation there are things that can be crafted but we lack the materials to do so the choice will expand as we upgrade the facility and get some skills we can also recycle weapons and weapon remains to produce screws which are one of the kind of uh, the construction materials what we can do now is clear the trash from this area here that's going to get going to take a minute or so and uh, then we could build on this one too although i think we're probably going to lack the materials to do so so our first need we've got a mission which is to go and see the neighbors who are over here and see what they want and on the way we can maybe pick up some of the things that we need by searching these buildings here so that's the plan what we're going to do though before we do that is switch from character to character because we are so short of resources and supplies at the moment and consumables that it makes very good sense for me to make sure that whoever's going out is as well equipped as possible the guys that stay here you don't really need to use them to leave them too much stuff on them we're going to take the snacks off of him he can keep his bandages if you leave guys with guns on them when we've got enough guns to do so I'm going to talk to Whitney. I'm not going to hit you, Whitney. And I'm going to switch to you in the old-fashioned way. If you leave them with guns and they use them because there are zombies in the base or around the base, they don't use ammo. So always make sure you leave your guys ooh, Way too noisy. equipped with as a gun if possible. Right. This is the biggest backpack. And to be honest, I don't see... Does it matter... Is anyone particularly beaten up? You've got 83 health, 103 stamina, 70 health, 115 stamina, and 63 and 80. No, we'll stick. We're going to take you out. What I'm thinking of here is that we've got an eight slot backpack. So we're going to take the snacks off you, and we're going to take your backpack off you. And we, get, we are going to switch back to Farsight. Wakey wakey. Hello. Now, she's got a gun. The gun is for emergency use only. It's a revolver. It holds eight rounds, which isn't a lot, and it makes a lot of noise. It will make a lot of noise. 
and we don't need that. So we'll find the slot, right? So we're going to equip that backpack, which means we can then put that one back into storage. We'll go to our little kind of consumable tab, craftables tab, and we'll see if we can take. We'll do it like that. It's using a slot, but if we use those painkillers, that will free a slot. Free snacks. Leave a couple at home. Weapons, we've got no spare hand-to-hand -hand weapons. We've got some ammo. We could go and search the rest of the houses around here and get some bits and bobs. I'm going to head straight over here. If I can get there, you never know. Who's, who knows what we're going to find? Let's see. I like your little backpack with your little star. We can use the gate or we can climb quick. over the wall. Right, we're going to get crouched down. We're going to have a little look around. So there's not much going on. Now when I said the spawns and the respawns can catch you out sometimes, so you need to be a little bit careful, you won't suddenly get, unless there's a weird glitch which can happen in this game, but you won't suddenly get like a crowd of zombies just spawn right on top of you. I mean, when you've gone into a building maybe been in the game three or four minutes you know off doing something you come back the way you think you've cleared and then there are a lot of zombies there so it's not something that's gonna we've got a pack of low tar cigarettes extraordinary trade value we'll talk about that when we get to see our friends across the streets if we get if we can make it but i can't see anyone around so do we really need to creep no there you are i saw you you taken down. I have noticed from just looking, because this is the second clip that I recorded, that when I was trying to talk whilst I was fighting, it just wasn't really working. So when I, if I get into a fight, a busy fight with the music going, I'm not going to try to kind of talk you through it. Uh, I may get better at sorting out the sound levels as we go on. Who knows? I almost went for a stealth kill, but didn't actually commit to it. Now we're going to have a quick look here. You can see um, in the middle, in the top right, is our amount of influence. We've got 168. We need some of that. We can buy things from other survivors and traders I using the influence. The uh, some is used for setting on outposts, which we need to do. They become a little safe haven, and also you can empty and re-supply. Uh, got some medicine. We wanted some medicine. And, and resupply yourself so you'd have a little point I here where I can uh, restock and resupply rucksacks however always need to go back to the base so we've got a little selection of stuff in here you see I could claim this outpost now but I need 300 influence to do so I have 168 so uh, it's something we will do but we can't do yet now the other advantage of not using a vehicle, which I'm not kind of doing at the moment, is that you're not the vehicle itself attracts quite a lot of attention due to its noise, and they are not very tough. And until I know I've got access to or can produce uh, toolkits and fuel in a regular kind of way, you're best off just searching locally around your base on foot even if there's a little bit more toing and throwing involved initially right that's gonna that's another trade value item so i'm just gonna take that with me because we can trade that with these guys when we go and talk to them so again i'm gonna crouch and just have a little look around don't we crouch i've got a dude over there it's very quiet around here at the moment I can't let that screamer bring and a by running as I am now I'm running down that blue bar I'm training up my cardio right. skill so that is basically how you do it that's probably going to have some fuel in it hello right who do I need to talk to Ron where's Ron are you Ron right they're trying to gather plague samples i think we'll agree to find a plague the sample for you that's our mission now we can talk to any guy in this community and trade with the enclave so we're going to sell the dented can of beer and we're going to sell the box of rubber bands 
Now, the better our relationship with an enclave, the more uh, profit we'll make by trading with them. They do have a few things for sale, but I don't need any. There's a screamer out here somewhere who needs to be de-screamed. I don't have to worry about the zombies coming in, really, because these guys will fight quite well. Must be close. There you go. You take it now. I'm going to hide behind you guys. Okay. I'm just going to nip here and grab some XP with the kill shot. And on the floor, you can do a little electrocute by pulling the right trigger and X. God, I'm tired. And I'm using like a, a blunt weapon. I'm going to need to eat my snack. I might even. I've got one health. Yeah, that. one odd painkiller. Let's take that. Free a slot up for keeping myself alive. Blunt weapons that this character is using, yeah, bashes them about. Could smash their skull in, but basically gets them to the floor and then you go and squish them proper. Where's this other screen? At? Where has the community gone? Okay. Okay, bullet in the head. I'm gonna eat that snack. Right? There's still a lot of zombies here. <laughs> where, where are the locals? I'm not brave. They're in here. In fact, there's the plague sample there that's been dropped by one of the blood plague zombies. Now, if you get hit by a blood plague zombie, you start getting blood plague. But it hasn't happened to me yet, so I can actually fulfill this mission here and now. But I just need to do the first, that's for sure. XP. Ron, there's your plague sample, mate. Right, mission complete. You see, they're now friendly. They were neutral, they're now friendly. If I'd realised that plague sample was going to drop, I was just, oh, there's a bloater uh, gone off over there. We're just going to get away. Our work is done here, I think. We could search this house. It's a little bit odd that these people live here, but you could find some fantastic loot they haven't bothered picking up. So let's just see. And also, to be honest, there's no point with these people here to defend us. We may as well find. Oh, there's a horde out there. <laughs> there's a big old horde out there. Mm. Guys, there's a big horde out there. You might want to go and kill them all. All right, search. Oh. We've got noise, incoming horde. I will leg it if necessary, I'm not proud. But XP's good, so let's have a look. Oh, I mean, it's just about like I'll take my painkillers before I get in a fight and I'm still next to the zombie when I'm doing it. Right, you're really annoying me, that boy. We've got them all kind of trapped in a corner. They can't all get in at once. We're making like Spartans defending the doorway. Am I hitting anyone? Let's get outside. Got one snack left. Right, see, I've got some blood plate now, which is the bar above the mini map. Now if that bar fills up, I will go into full-blown blood plague. I will become very ill, very slow. You don't want it to happen when you're out and about. That was me bashing the mic, excuse me. And uh, if it, you get a second bar then with a timer, but every time you get hit, that bar will get filled up very quickly. And if that second bar gets filled up, you turn into a zombie and that's it. And there's no coming back from that. Right, can we get a can of petrol? So the things I'm really looking for, screws are always going to be handy, especially um, early game, because you need to repair weapons. Luckily, the revolver can never jam. But 
uh, and, and the same with bolt action rifles and stuff. The downside is probably small ammo capacities and a slow rate of fire. But that's kind of the payoff. Other weapons are going to need repairing or they break. And if they break when you're out, you're stuck with a screwdriver, a carving knife or some other little implement to do your best to get home with. Right, how many slots have we got? We've got two slots, three slots left, so it's worth having a little search around yet. A toolkit would be handy. Is there anything here to search? No. So we're going to go next door. What have we got over here? Gun shop. Let's see what we can find in here. This place has outpost written all over it. Zombie just out the window. There's a couple all over hearing me jingling. I'm going to go straight in through the window. No style, no finesse. Oh, get out of the corner. I really don't like the camera angle sometimes, but there we go. That is the claustrophobic effect of having zombies on your back. That guy out there with a hoodie seems oblivious. Oh, a crossbow. We're going to equip the crossbow. And take that crossbow ammo. And now... And as you can see, we've taken out that zombie silently. Missed that one, but the, the bolt is retrievable, not a hundred percent. And with this light crossbow, they are more retrievable. I've got an idea. And there was a screamer over here, and this town. is a perfect I'll weapon for taking out pesky place. screamer. We can't do it alone. There you go, five influence as well. Gonna get our bolt back. Oh, and there's his friend whom I missed. Enjoy peace eternal, asshole. Yeah. I'm oh, very happy with that. And the other advantage is, now killing blood plague zombies will produce a chance of a drop of a blood plague sample. Uh, that increases when you shoot them with a light crossbow. So this could be quite a handy little tool for us. Certainly a much better way of getting around and taking out a few zombies than that revolver is ever going to be. Right up there we got one of them bloaters. We'll pop his belly. Ten influence for getting him. If you haven't got a ranged weapon, um, you can't, there's no way to stealth kill them. I, I'm absolutely sure there's no way to stealth kill them. You have to get them to run at you and then run away and they kind of fall over and trigger like you saw happen earlier on. But luckily they chase somebody else and not me. Otherwise you do need to put a bullet in them. Right, back in the gun shop. We have, did we find a, any guns in the gun shop? And how are we doing for influence? We'll have a look when we finish searching. Oh, we've got enough influence. We've got 443. That means we can set up our first outpost. And I'm... There's another bloater over there. Now, if, if we set it up next door, we'll get a... Well, where we are now, uh, we would get an ammo. I think we're going to go for this. We'll get food collection on a daily basis. It'll be plus one food. Um, it'll take a little bit of the pressure off us. It also means that when we're searching around here, uh, we can pop in and out. And get uh, emptied and resupplied. Right. For now, can we take those? They're going to stack. Let's see while we're here. In case there's anything mega. Absolutely it's getting dark, which typical. I don't particularly like. So what I'm going to do... There's only one more thing to search in here. That's probably back. Here. See what we got here. 
It might be a nice gun. It could be um, anything. We've got a selection of pistols. That's not a bad start from the first gun shop. Uh, and a silencer. We'll come back and get those. I think I'm going to drop those. And I'm going to drop that Bowie machete just for now. And grab that gun. And fit that. If I equip that gun, then I can equip that silencer to the gun. And I think I'm going to grab the spare ammo for it and we're going to head back. It is getting very dark. Who's that? Is that another one of them? Any of that. Ah, top right hand side of the screen. Haven't mentioned it. There are kind of some countdown challenges going on. They run on the account. Um, and having played a bit before on this account, I've unlocked some of them. There's a guy on the map called the Bounty Broker. Uh, you can go to him and take the challenges, like kill a hundred, two hundred zombies with a blade or whatever, uh, nine bloaters with a pistol, and you get a reward free, a weapon. Um, I've done those in another game, so I can't do the challenges and get those weapons free. The ones that the challenges are still running for are not particularly good weapons, to be honest with you. Or quite laborious challenges. I can still go to him and buy them for influence, but... Um, all toolkit. We'll take the screws, they'll stack, and we will drop the seeds. And we'll take that toolkit. That's very good, right. If we can get back home now without anything horrible happening. I don't really want to waste a bullet. No, I'm just going to stealth kill him. I think that's a screamer over there we'll take down with a crossbow. Or we might do a bullet on him. He's worth a bullet. You will see some of these monsters on the map, but not on the mini-map. But they, uh... See, that other screamer is not showing on the map. I'm not close enough. Screamer here. Got him. Don't scream. Don't scream At least he, attra he attracts the zombies to him. So not necessarily to me. See? They're, they're gathering up over there. So you almost use them as a distraction there. And you, you're getting a flavour of how dark this game can get. Um, it will... That must be a about it. No, it can get darker. It depends where you are. In buildings, um, in the woods, etc. It's obviously much, much darker. We're going to get back. We're going to get this stuff back and I think we're going to have to call it an episode there anyway. Guess who's back. Uh, I intend... I don't know, let me know what you think. You know, I have a history of not really knowing what an episode should be. I can, I'm just going to play and record this live. Now you see how hey, dark it is in this building. If I got into a fight, um, and this has got candles in it. So if I was out searching, get into a fight, there's zombies around, I'm fighting them. It's really hard, even with your torch on. It doesn't really carry very well, and, it's, and you really won't see much. So let's empty what we've got. We're going to keep, I think we're going to keep the crossbow equipped. We'll put everything else away. What did I just do then? Picked up that. And we will deposit the bag of medicine. So we have some. And we shall call it an episode there. So thank you very much for watching. I'll carry this on very soon. Um, I may wait and start recording again in the morning. And just do a little bit of casual searching. Just around this local area of map so i hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far bear with us i have recorded a few episodes ahead this is going to get really really intense 
Uh, leave us a comment, leave us a like if you've liked it. Any advice would be useful, although as I said, I'm a few uh, episodes ahead already. Bear with me on the sound levels. Uh, this is a tricky game to record because it goes from silent to very noisy quite quickly. And uh, I'm recording it live. I only get one chance. There's no, there's no obviously replaying anything, re-recording. So yeah, stick with us. Subscribe if you've enjoyed it. Let me know in a comment if you've subbed for State of Decay. Um, because I know the majority of my subs right now are for the e-videos which I can now produce now that the computers are up and running a little bit better. It's been very poorly. So, bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching and take care.